This is Court Rye, electricbikereview.com. I'm here at Interbike, and we just stopped by the Polaris booth. They've launched some electric bikes this year, and I'm with Adam. He's going to tell us a little bit about how that started. Yes, uh, we went into research and development about three and a half years ago. We took a lot of time studying the market and uh, some of the bikes that were out there, and took some of that nice uh, accents to what we saw. And, Try to meet the needs that weren't there. Uh, number one, we made sure the bike is very easy to service, all quick disconnects. Uh, number two is uh, we wanted to make sure that we had a very smooth ride. We had a number of bikes that we rode, we found that they were either on or off, and kind of bouncing back and forth. And so we made sure that the, uh, the Polaris electric bikes are the smoothest uh, riding experience that is out there. And it's fully integrated, it looks like. The battery and everything. Can you take us through a tour of this? Yeah, sure. Um, one of the things also is that you like to be able to take the battery in, yeah. um, which a lot of people look for for smart. This battery right here just goes right into the into the frame here. Uh, other bikes have it on the rear rack, which is also removable. Uh, what we do is we have a rear hub motor, and we have actually our controller is right here. Uh, our controller is actually more of a mini computer. It's actually a handful of circuit boards in there that really monitor how the uh, rider wants the bike to react. So in every pedal rotation, there's over 24 different sensors that sense what the rider is telling the bike to do. Wow. And the computer is reading all that information, telling the battery to increase output or decrease output, ramp up the watts in the motor, or decrease it so you can save your battery life. It's like a torque sensor. Yeah, very much so. But very, uh, very sophisticated. Very sophisticated torque sensor. Yeah. Okay. And so that means this has pedal assist mode. Does it also have throttle mode? Is that yep. what that you is? Yeah. You have pedal assist on three different levels, and you also have throttle. Okay. And on the IC dashboard here, you actually have a readout that shows your carbon footprint savings. Really? Yeah. Wow. Some kind of neat, especially for people who listen. That would be really, really cool if you, like you're charging it, and it was like you could put in your electricity rate and be like, you spent two dollars charging. Maybe in the future. Maybe like a bit, yeah. So, exactly. can you tell me a little bit more about the batteries? This is a lithium battery? Yeah, they're lithium ion batteries. Awesome. And uh, they, the, uh, they're actually very dense cells. And they're being uh, they're being purchased through a contract from pre a company that previously uh, we worked with. Okay. So it's a very, uh, very difficult battery technology. What kind of voltage on this thing? Uh, it's a 30 volt battery. 30 volt battery, and how many amp hours? Uh, it's six. Six amp hours? Okay. Um, and let's see, we talked a little bit about the motor earlier, so how many watts? Yeah, yeah. What we actually have, and it's a 450 watt motor. Oh, wow. What, okay. we did, what we did is uh, we actually designed the entire system ourselves. So we actually built the motor ourselves, we built the controller ourselves, and we, uh, we built anything that's electrical ourselves. And uh, our motor is actually has what's called duo drive. So we have two motors in our motor, basically. We have one aspect of the motor that will give you speed and efficiency on flat terrain. But when you need the hill climb or you want to go faster, the second coil, the second winding, or basically the second motor kicks in and gives you that power that you need. Is it geared or brushless or tuck it's, uh, it's brushless. brushless. Mag mag magnetically driven motor. Brushless with two motors in there. That's very interesting. Is this completely sealed? You know, how, how do we have to worry about water? Or? Uh, yeah, no, it's completely sealed. Completely sealed. I love how the wires are fully integrated into the frame here. And you got the control unit. Is this, this you know, hopefully that pretty actually, rugged if you hit a rock? It, or it, 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 it's, it's actually a aluminum uh, case. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you've got the lock. So to start the bike, do you turn a key? Or actually, yeah, the, the, key, the key is on the opposite side here. Oh, okay. And that, and that is strictly to lock the battery in. This here is an external charging port in case you don't want to take the battery inside. Okay. But if you do take the battery inside, you can also charge it uh, inside as well. Where's the on-off switch? Is this right here, like yeah. a computer? Yeah, you have an on-off switch right here. You can see the IC dashboard will come on. You have your three different levels of assistance. And you also have up here, you have your different settings where you can change it. Uh, if you're in Europe, you can put it on kilometers. Here, obviously, we want miles an hour. And then it will show your odometer. This bike has been driven, driven 123 miles. It has a range remaining of uh, 27 miles, which is constantly updated by uh, by the computer. Does it take into account the rider's weight or anything? Because I can imagine, for me, it, maybe it's got 27 miles. Uh, it, what it does is it, it does not. But it's based on what you've done every minute and recalculates. Oh, so 
but it's based on what you just did. So, so you're climbing a hill and it's like going down. And then, and then you might get back on smooth again and it'll go back up. That so is it, awesome. So it's based on what you just did. Really so good. tell me how heavy this is with the battery. Uh, they're all about 45 pounds. Roughly. Just 45 pounds? Yeah, they're with the battery? Pounds. Better, that yeah. is spectacular. Wow, what's you know, where can people pick one of these up? Do you go to the website? Well, the, the, or? Fir the first six months of our distribution plan went primarily through Polaris dealers. Okay. And um, we also did uh, partner up with a couple of electric bike dealers just so we could get their feedback to make sure we were on the right path. Sure. Because these people have been doing it for a long time and they really kind of know what they're talking about. Yeah. And uh, we just wanted to make sure we incorporated their ideas and thoughts into what we were what we were doing. Okay, um, and can you talk a little bit about the price of, of this model here and what, what it's called? We suggest a retail of uh, 2500 bucks. Okay. Um, and uh, this particular model is the Polaris Vector. Vector, okay, now why don't you take us around, because I see other e-bikes and uh, it sounds like they've all kind of got similar uh, setup in terms yeah. of the same motor, same battery? Yeah, or? Every, every single system is exactly the same, it's just the design. In this particular unit, you have the rear rack battery, but all the specs and all the, the systems are the same. Yeah, um, and it's fully inter. I love this because you've you've actually welded the rack to the frame, so you're not going to get that rattling or anything. Yeah, exactly. That is awesome. Is this you know would you, is this one a little bit cheaper since it's not yeah, integrated they're, into they're, the? No, they're, they're all exactly the same. They're, they're, in order to avoid confusion, the price is negligible on our side, so we just make it all the same. Interesting. Okay, and so I see this has got chain guides on both sides. I love that because, you know, sometimes you're on bumpy terrain. Plus, we've got the dual disc brakes, dual disc brakes. Which, uh, which has been a comment made that is pretty important for safety reasons. Okay. And then we have, uh, we have a unisex model here. This would be your, your step through, you know, for both four men and women. Uh, once again, same system, same setup. Tell us about the, the gears on this. Is this a Shimano setup? Uh, yeah, well, everything's uh, an eight gear. Um, it's all uh, either Shimano or Shimano, depending on which bike it is. And um, you know, we use the uh, sun tool forks. Uh, no lockout on this one. Do any of them have lockouts? Uh, uh, Probably not. Uh, uh, They're all the same price, too, right? So, okay, just checking. Let's go to the next one. Man, you guys really you came out this is the swinging. One actually, this is the one we actually just saw. Uh, oh, okay. there. Same one. And we've got some other. This one looks more like a cruiser. Or something. Yeah, this one here is uh, the unit with the, uh, the larger tires, the 700C tires. Got the fenders. Also, it comes with the fenders, and it has the electric light up front. That's sweet. So the light's built in. You control that. Uh, you control it on your icy dashboard. Yep. Okay, and you got the little grabber. That is very cool. And there's another step through. Yeah, the other step through is uh, this version, the 700 C tires, uh, step through version. Oh, this is very cool. Well, Adam, it's been a real pleasure. There's some really exciting models here. Looking forward to get you in your own one. Definitely going to go test it out at the test track.